iTunes viewers. Thank you for uh, tuning into this video. Um, if you've never met me before, my name is Mr. Will. Of course, I'm one of the puppeteers on the puppet truck. And uh, the video that you are about to watch is all about prop building. So I uh, hope that you find something informative and enjoy. So welcome back. Uh, thanks again for checking out these videos. Um, this episode is about design. So um, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about how I went around the problems of figuring out the dimensions, uh, how I sketched it out, what utensils and tools I used to do all of my designing parts of this build. Uh, yeah. So just to let you know, there are apps, there are programs, there are many different ways where you can just enter in what you want something to kind of look like uh, look at their designs put something together and then it will tell you exactly how to build something it'll give you the dimensions you won't run into too many problems um, everything works out perfectly now in this video I was having to do everything just sketch it out cut it out make stencils that's how this project came about so Going off of the original image that um, I found online, uh, I pretty much knew that I was going to need uh, at least three boxes, three boxes. So you have one, two, three. And I just knew since they all had to be the exact same size, I just went ahead and figured out exactly, you know, what dimensions I was going to do this and uh, what the size was going to be from it. So I just wanted to show you these images as well. These were just like the quick sketches, quick thoughts of stuff that I had you know, had to work out uh, what size, how much space do I need in between certain parts of things. So just so you know, it doesn't have to look pretty all the time. And this right here is the um, six by nine uh, rectangle that I cut out. After I finished that, I was able to get pretty much uh, the right size and dimensions that I was going to be using for the uh, roof parts of this palace. So yeah, um, this is really what the whole drawing out part is all about. I generally use lots of just squares and boxes and try to keep everything pretty symmetrical. So it's really just you, a ruler, a pencil, and a piece of paper. And then you just go ahead and measure everything out. And then you just make all of your lines and then hopefully it all comes together. Hopefully. <laughs> So I want you all to keep in mind that when I was designing this, I was thinking about back to the first episode on the research of what all I was going to need for what I was going to do. And fortunately for me, I had a lot of this stuff on hand. But if you don't have this stuff on hand uh, in the next video, when I do construction, I will show you a different way. Thank you all again for tuning into this video about uh, the design aspect of this particular project. I do want you all to keep in mind if you do uh, have an app or a program or another resource, you can use it. If you have a tool, why not use that tool? But um, this one right here was just pencil paper and just a ruler. Um, it's pretty simple. You guys could do this with any type of material. Um, but. In the next video, we will be doing construction, but until then, remember that the library is still offering curbside pickup, and we'll see you all soon.